yeah, so lock it. it says against spiritual wickedness in high places. All right. And that's what we go up against, man. You know? Because, man, if it wasn't by the, uh, for the mercy of your house, by Shimmy Howard Shai, if it wasn't for, you know, the mercy of your house, sending your house side down to cover our sins, man, we'd we be dead, man. Come that's why Esau's looking at our nation like, damn, how, how are these niggas still alive? Come you know? Verse 13 says, Well, for take unto you the whole armor of the Most High that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand. Okay. Stand therefore having your loins girt about with truth. Okay. Have your loins girt about with truth. The truth of the scriptures. And having on the blessed breastplate of righteousness. All right. And if you and if you if you look at uh, how a man went to war in the ancient time. You know he had the uh, the breastplate. The, uh, the, all the armor on man. You know he had his sword. He had his, uh, his shield and buckler. Okay. And that's what this word is unto us. Like, like we, you know, we were saying, man, the most high is a man of war. But this war that we're in right now is just spiritual. Okay? Because if you uh if you win this spiritual war, man, you're gonna win the uh the physical war that's to come. You're gonna make it through the physical destruction. Alright, but first and foremost, you gotta win this battle in the uh in the spirit versus the flesh. You know, you gotta win this battle against these demons. It says, wherefore take unto you the whole arm of your how by Shimi side that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. Stand therefore having your loins girt about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Okay. Above all taking the shield of faith. All right. Because that's what we're going to be saved by faith. You know. Wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Okay, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit. All right, the sword of the spirit, going back to Hebrews 4 and 12, which is the word of the most high. Verse 18 says, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Yeah, so prayer is key too, man. Prayer is key too in this war. You know, anything you want to add up? Uh, and a precept? Speaking on prayer, uh, is uh, Romans 12 and 12, mm -hmm. rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, continuing instant in prayer. Just like, just like you said, just like continuing in prayer, you know, instant in prayer. As scriptures say, uh, pray without ceasing, Season, you know. Kinda. Especially in this time, you know, just trying to pray at like every moment, every other, uh, moment you know yeah continually meditating on the scriptures you know continually me meditating on his word you know because that's the only way you're going to make it through man in the spiritual war that we're in you know and this is how the most high you know he set it up man you know it's a fight against it's a fight of good versus evil man you know as we start opening the uh, lesson up with the most high is a man of war all right so this is all a, a part of the battle man you know this is what you got to go through to enter into the kingdom of heaven. All right. Like now you can grab that axe in 14 and 22. Mm. Matter of fact, I get in. You, you, you can break it down. Mm. It's the book of Acts, chapter 14, verse 22. Yeah, because this is the condition of the battle, man. Whoever said it was going to be easy. Acts 14 and 22 says, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith and that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of the most high. Ah, much tribulation so we enter the kingdom of most high uh, we're going through uh tribulations right now uh like on a smaller level than what we're going to deal with in the day of uh jacob's trouble jacob's trouble like uh you know tribulations where you, you like, lose your job you know your car uh your female or whatever mm -hmm. you know these fucking demons uh jumping in your mind all the time and uh the uh, people on the road and shit cutting you off, uh, tailgating you, and it's just like every day, you know, it's nonstop. Yeah, like the apostle uh, Ricard did a video, said these people are just getting more and more demonic, you know, more and more demonic, man. You no, know, they don't even know why they come up against you, you know. Right. They don't even know why they why they look at you a certain type of way. All right, that's the demon that's on them, though. They see the righteous spirit on you, man. See the light that's shining on you, you know. Yes, enough. Oh, that's it.
Hey, okay, hey, with that, you know, we're going to say Barak Atta Yahweh. Barak Atta Yahweh. Barak Atta Yahweh Shai. Barak Atta Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who we learn this truth from. And peace and blessings to the elect. Shalom. Shalom.